Thanks. Um, every day, you will find something that really winds you up on a website. And being that the vast majority of the room is designers, you're also going to have that one thing which you try to crowbar into every single project because you think that it's some kind of magic bullet. Um, <coughs> things that you might find annoying is standing in the middle of a city that you don't know, looking up a website, trying to get the address for a place that you don't know, and being stuck forever in a Twitter widget box, just scrolling through it, hoping that the address is at the bottom of the page. Um, it could also be something that we have forgotten about, like right rail blindness of things constantly flashing on the sides of the main content. Um, or it could be uh, the fact that YouTube has now got 25 second adverts on it, which you cannot skip on a mobile phone on the train before you hit the tunnel. For me, <coughs> it's actually something a little bit simpler. It's this, it's contact details, and first and foremost, telephone numbers. Because I, for some reason, still have an obsession with ringing people and uh, something like trying to get a doctor's appointment for me is, is quite a harrowing experience. Um, BT, the kings of telephony, uh, really don't want you to find telephone numbers. They, they are so against it, it's unbelievable, to the point where they will add in other stuff that you really hate, like uh, surveys that open up as soon as you hit the page when you haven't even decided whether it's going to help or not. Um, the thing that I find really frustrating with telephone numbers on websites is that they're non-actionable. On the most part, it's a string of numbers which, if I'm on something like a phone where I can actually ring a telephone number, uh, I can't do anything with it. And you have to go through that really weird experience of trying to remember the first three numbers. And then I'm going to go out of that app and I'm going to open up the phone app and then I'm going to put those in and I'm going to hope to God at the end that I have got it right and this is going to ring. And why it annoys me is that it is something which can be resolved within seconds because telephone numbers like email addresses and all other links on the internet can be linked with a standard A link, put a telephone number in it, and if the device that's looking at it can ring that number, it will come up with a little box and it will say, hey, do you want to dial this number? Yes, yes, I do. So <clears throat> this brings me on to the concept of micro formats. Now, not directly related to this idea of adding a link to a telephone number, but it's about being able to enhance what seems like a really boring piece of information, which is contact details, with a load of other data uh, that makes it more usable and interesting for uh, other services that will find it. So it's, it's kind of like hidden design. But basically, microformats, there's a, there's a handful of different um, uh, meta schemas that are around at the moment and the one that I'm going to talk about is vCards uh, but there's also uh, one for events so if you look at Lanyard if you've ever used Lanyard or you search for an event uh, that is uh, populated by Lanyard when you look at it on search results you'll see a whole load of other stuff that's available there like times and locations and things like that so really simple that's my contact details that's a card and uh, I can't do anything with it at the moment, uh, but ultimately, if that was just a piece of HTML, it would look something like this. Not particularly sexy, but it's quite common. We'll, we'll chuck it in a paragraph, and it's just a, a paragraph of text. I can't really do anything with that. Um, using the microformats, uh, I can turn that into something uh, a little bit more um, like data-rich. So you'll see there, it's just using standard CSS classes to, uh, to pull a load of extra information in, which it's not going to do anything on the screen, but there's readers which can pick this up, uh, so apps that turn this into a vCard, or more importantly, uh, search engines like Yahoo and Google, you will see this data starting to appear in the results. So it doesn't like bump you up or down in the search engine rankings, but it's guaranteeing a better experience for the person that's trying to find you. Uh, there's lots of other really nifty little things you can do with this, like you can actually extend out that telephone option to give the options as to whether or not you want to send an SMS instead. So there's, there's lots of things that you can uh, enrich it with. The other thing is around, like on the Twitter handle there, you'll see at the end it says Rel Me, which became a really popular thing when Google Plus was trying to be pushed um, because it's a way of you saying, this is me somewhere else. So it's, it's like, it's my property, this is me on another place. Um, and that's it. I think we don't do this because 
um, as designers, we're not thinking about these things. So if we don't think about them and actually tell a developer to add them in, something that takes a couple of seconds, it doesn't get built. So there's micro formats, and I encourage everyone to try and use them. Thank you.